The question here is looking for a formula, number progression, 1, 7, 19, 36, 61, all the way to 2,791. And the answer is 3n squared minus 3n plus 1. And uh, how we get it, there are two ways to actually getting this. One is analytically. So what we do is we write the number down, 1, 1719. 37, 61, da, da, da. And then you take the difference between the first row. This is 6. Next row is 12. Um, difference here is 18. Difference here is 24. And do it one more. We're checking to see what the formula, the order for the formula is. 6 here, uh, 6 here, 6 here. Since this is the second level, <clears throat> we know we have a quadratic formula for the for the solution, okay? Since the quadratic formula general expression is a times n squared plus b times n plus c, um, and this one is equal to a n, to the number in the series. And from here, what you can do is set up a system of three variables, three equations, and it's relatively easy to set. So we have one is equal to a plus b plus c, that's when n equal to one, Next one, when n equal to 2, you have this equation. And the next one, you have 19. That's when n equal to 3. And then you have this equation. Okay, so system of three equations, three unknowns. And it's relatively easy to solve. It's a little tedious work, but it's relatively easy. So a equal to 3, and b is equal to minus 3, and c is equal to 1. I believe that's the answer. So, um... What we can do here, then you can have the an is the 3n squared minus 3n plus 1. Okay, that's the formula. So this is the analytical method. Another method, it's, um, it's a little bit of trial by error, but I think it's more fun. And the trick is recognizing this. When you have 1, 7, 19, and uh, 37, and 61, all those numbers are odd. They're usually just one off from a, what I call a pretty number. Okay, so obviously, if you take off that one, you can uh, see the pattern behind the offset. So let's try that. This is six, and this becomes zero. Okay, so and this is, there's a offset of one. And once you get the offset of 1, what you do is you take a look at the 60 and you write the ends. Let's get, get on to the next page so you can, uh, can write a little more. Back over here. So we have when n equal to, uh, I believe when n equal to 5, our offset number, offset number is 60. Okay, so what you want to do is you, you want to write those numbers down and kind of let your mind loose, see if you see any patterns. And equal to 3 here, we have uh, 18. Those are offset numbers, offset values. Uh, we know offset is 1. So from here, um, one thing right away jumps out, uh, n equal to 2 here. Let's do one more. Uh, this is a 6, I believe. So one thing you re recognize right away is that those are a factor of threes. So now you break it down to three. You have a three times 20. 20 is really four times five. So you put it there and see what happens. Okay, three times, this is 12. 12 is really four times three. Um, this one is three times six. Six is really two times three. And this one is three times two. Okay, so from here, keeping in mind of the ends, so you're looking for all this product, how it's connected to the end. So from here, uh, first thing I saw is this. If you have a 3 times 5, that's uh, 15. There, there's your n here. Okay, n equal to 4. Here's a 3 times 4. Here's my n here. Uh, I like it so far. So far, it's 3 times the n. Okay, and n equal to 3. Well, here's my 3, and here's my 3. So if I group those two together, I have a 3n so far, right? And then n is 2 here, and I have n times 2. So here I have right away, I know I have a 3n. Okay, now let's take a look at this number. n equal to 5, I have a 4 here. And when you n equal to 4, I have a 3 here. Well, obviously, I have n minus 1. Okay. 
let's make sure it works. Uh, and equal to three, I have a two here. And equal to two here, so then I have the imaginary one here. So, so far, so, so good. My formula here works. Now, remember earlier, I had offset of one. I took one off, so when I do the formula, I need to add it back. And this becomes my an formula. If you were to simplify this one, you have a 3n squared minus 3n plus 1. It's exactly the same thing as if you were solving it algebraically. All right? Have a confident day.